Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole McGuire and thank you so much for clicking on this video. <sighs> oh my goodness. We finally reached the end of Dogne Dover week. One week, six videos, major exhaustion. <laughs> this was extremely tiring. I did not expect it to be as tiring as it was because I pre-filmed some of them, but whoo. <laughs> I'm very happy to be on the last day. And I have saved the best for last, and today we'll be reviewing the Dogne Dover Landon Carry All. Oh my gosh, this is such a beautiful bag. I love the colors, I love the neoprene. This was actually my first Dogne Dover bag that I got and started my obsession with the brand. So I'm really excited to be doing an in-depth review of the bag. Before we get to my unbiased, unsponsored, completely honest review of this bag, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up, subscribe down below, and hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a new video, which is after this week, this crazy, insane week, will be three times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. All right, let's get to it. <sighs> okay, we have since moved to the floor because like I said, this is video six in a week. My last two videos, I wasn't even in because I had the flu. I still feel very bad today, but I managed to put some makeup on and we are gonna go ahead with this video. These bags run around $100 to $200 per pop, which is definitely expensive. They have so many sizes. I think it's extra small, small. We have the medium, then there's the large, and I do believe there's an extra large. I haven't tested out all the sizes. This is another recent addition to my Dogme Dover collection. This was actually the first bag I ever got. It has stood up so well for two years. And so today I'm gonna walk you through what I love about this bag and where I think it could have been improved. So first off, quality. I've had this bag for two years. <laughs> it held up so well. It still looks pretty new. There's no creases in the outside. All of the hardware is still intact. I have no problems with the zippers or the interior. It's a really sturdy bag. I really like it. I use this as my gym bag. I've used it as a travel bag and it doesn't smell bad. I feel like the neoprene helps keep the sweaty smell from the gym from coming in and overall, it's just one of my favorite bags that I have. This is what made me love the brand. Features that I really like include, you guys know I'm gonna say it, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know, it's the key holder. <laughs> this holds onto your keys, so if you lose your keys in the bottom of the bag, it is super easy to find them, and I love this feature. Another feature I love is that it actually has a laptop sleeve, which is awesome because sometimes I can get away with using this bag for work and not carrying anything else. However, I will say, it gets very heavy when you put a 15 inch laptop in here. There's a huge open room in the middle for all your gym stuff and two pockets on the side that allow you to carry a water bottle or a lock or resistance bands. And then there's one more pocket, zip pocket on the outside that allows you to just, I keep a first aid kit in here with my inhaler. The biggest complaint that I had with this bag is that when I was traveling, I would put it on my suitcase and try and like find some way to loop the handles around the handle in my suitcase so that it wasn't falling everywhere. And more often than not, I'd be in the, in the airport rolling along and it would just go with a laptop inside. So I get super nervous. So one of the things I really like about my new Dogme Dover that I have, and I think this has been a new addition to all the bags, not just the medium size, is that it now has a pocket to put over a suitcase and this is a game changer for me. This will now be my ultimate travel bag. I am debating buying a third one of these so I can use this just for the gym and one just for travel. This is my ultimate personal item for the plane. In the large size, these actually come out and you can make it a very big bag. So I love it as a weekender. However, when I'm on the plane, I've gotten away with this as my personal item with these sides clipped down. So I've been able to get this, this huge bag to fit under the seat in front of me with no issues from the flight attendants. I do get nervous sometimes with this bag and I feel like I try and put like my arm over it or jacket over it so that it doesn't look as big as I think it looks, but I haven't had an issue with it. I love the color of this one. This is in pomelo and I just like how the color is part of every aspect of this bag. The straps, the hardware, everything is a unifying color and I think it's so beautiful. And then inside it actually comes with a air mesh pouch in the same color and a shoe pouch also in the same color with the logo on it. And I have since lost my black one of these but I was really excited to get a new one because I use this all the time for my shoes. It's a really nice bag. 
So we're keeping it short and sweet with this video today. I love these bags. I would highly recommend them. The only negative that I had with the bag was fixed in their newest version. In terms of size, I would actually recommend the medium for a gym bag. The large is great if you're trying to reach the most amount of stuff possible on an airplane or for a weekend bag but I find this much more manageable for the gym. And the reason I actually bought the large to begin with was because it hold a 15 inch laptop, whereas this holds a 13 inch laptop. But one of my best friends, Ellie, has been able to fit her 15 inch in the medium size by not using the laptop sleeve and just putting it in the middle. So do with that information what you will. <laughs> Maybe your laptop won't be as protected, but I think this is a much more manageable size. This is huge, I love it. I'm probably gonna get a third. And if you're like me and want to get another Dogne Dover bag, I actually have a code for 10% off your purchase. I will put the link in the down bar below and happy spending. <laughs> if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a new video. This was such a fun week, but I am so exhausted. I have loved Dogne Dover week. If you haven't seen all the videos in this series, I will link a playlist down below with them all in it. But Oh, I am exhausted. I need a glass of rosé and I will see y'all next Tuesday. Bye.